Hello, welcome back. Ashala here, bringing you Soul Sampler number 47, insights for this upcoming week, April 17th to the 24th. Well, this is Easter Sunday. For those of us that are from the Christian tradition, and even for those of you who are not in various different parts of the world, in, in the Northern Hemisphere in particular, this is a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. And this whole idea of ascension or resurrection, the new beginning, is a big theme that is very activated both in nature and in our culture and our religious traditions at this time. I'm happy to say that Religious traditions seem to be almost taking a bit of a back seat energetically. There's a lot of sorting out going on with regards to how these traditions are holding us, inspiring us, and really propelling us to evolve, to go through this beautiful ascension process and how they are constricting or limiting us. And for each of us, this is a very personal dialogue that I don't wanna to get too deeply into at this time. But safe to say that the massive theme that I'm seeing here in this spread for this upcoming week is a real resurrection of our relationships. This is a continuation of last week's theme, a resurrection of relationships of emotional intimacy that's right at the center here this this balanced equality a real sort of putting down the issues or conflicts that have been keeping us apart and noticing the common ground over the differences this is showing up of course in personal, intimate relationships, partnerships, and so on. Really beautiful card in the partnership area. Um, it's also showing up as this beautiful alchemy of healing in the area of friendships and our community. So, wow, look at all of this loving energy. I mean, I just actually going to pull up all the cards that are speaking to this. It's pretty wild in the subconscious, the deep well of emotion, our king of cups. You know, this is a lot about emotional maturity as well. And the self or the ego, having gone through a great transformation over these last, well, especially two or three months, even two or three weeks. Um, this is a renewal emotionally. And again, like I said, it's this beautiful resurrection of our connections, our loving connections with friends, family, partners, and so on. So this, and even down here in the ground or the root, we have the child, this beautiful friendship, um, nostalgia, emotional trust. Like how many of these cards of cups? One, two, three, four, five, six, and six being the number of harmony. So this harmonization in the area of the emotions, like, wow, just look at that lineup. You know, it's really a time to let bygones be bygones. And it doesn't mean that they're resolved and the issues aren't still present on some level, but it means that we are at a place in ourselves and collectively where we're willing to wait to have the greater resolution. And this emotional healing time is not just about taking a shortcut to get our emotional needs met. This is really where we are. This is the true essence of where we are collectively. Um, and it's it's been work to get there. 
So I just love this. Absolutely love where this is all going. Um, all those cups. And then even in the house of endings and new beginnings, we have another number six, the lovers, which is a lot about, again, as I said last week, there's this kind of glue that is reconnecting us in terms of our relationships. Like, wow, on every level, we're talking parent, child, friends, lovers, um, you know, husband, wife relationships, um, par business partners, you name it. Everything is up for a kind of renewal right now. And I just love where this is going. Now, this is happening. This is almost like a little bit um, counterintuitive because in the intuition and in the ego, we have, remember we talked last week about what was going on up there in the area of self-actualization. Another stressful card this week in that area, meaning um, we still don't really have an idea of how our lives fit into the big picture. It, this could be a real time of feeling lost um, and a loss of a type of confidence, uh, you know, an ego confidence. Uh, like, I know what I'm doing. I know who I am. I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. Wow, this is like <laughs> the rug has been thoroughly pulled out from under us. And most of us are going, I don't even know. All I know is that I feel a lot of renewal, a lot of trust, even though, again, as I said, it might be counterintuitive. You might be going, why am I feeling so open and trusting when I haven't a clue what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I'm laughing for myself and for all of us because um, this is the irony of what we're going through right now is this sense of, you know, if we cannot let this lack of clarity and confidence psych us out. If we can see that there's, a, as I said last week, there's a greater wisdom steering us in the direction of our destiny. And, you know, that, that time of having it all figured out, well, let's just say we could um, put that whole goal aside for quite a while and go with the flow. <laughs> Because having it all figured out might be a bit of a thing of the past. And, you know, we have to look at what that was about. That was really a lot about our ego having something to cling on to that felt secure. So we've grown, we've matured emotionally to a place where we don't really need that scaffolding. We're okay to say, gosh, I don't really know. I'm I'm kind of at a loss. I I don't feel as sure of the future of myself and as confident, but I feel, you know, I don't know it in my mind, but I feel somehow like I'm opening up and trusting more, even though I know less. <laughs> trusting more and knowing less. That's probably the theme. Those are the basic words for this week's reading. Um, yeah, and and even in terms of our our structures, our authority, our power, dynamics of power, it's like we are much less likely to be willing to give our power anywhere. We are in a place now where we're saying, well, I'm just going to wait and watch. Wait and watch. You see that fellow? He's waiting for his crops to produce. He's watching them. He's observing. You know, this emperor has to do with authority and power. It's coming up in the house of Gemini, which is about ideas, vision, communication. It's like, you know, even all this sort of, again, you know, not being really sure what is the truth? What is the clear idea? What is the clear vision? Um, waiting, wanting to wait and observe more and act on our rational projections less. That's another big thing this week. And then finally, I want to speak about this 
Queen of Pentacles. She's coming up in the area of Taurus. So what a great card to have in that house. She's like the natural Taurus. Um, she's generous. She loves to cook and um, share what she has with others. She loves good food, good music, beautiful clothing, beautiful surroundings. So these themes all play prominently this week. Really enjoying the physical. This could include making kind of major purchases this week, like perhaps a car, a new car or a secondhand car, um, perhaps a new uh, item of clothing or something that you've really been longing for for a while. Um, it's not a time of like ultimate indulgence. This is more about something of quality that really um, gives you that sense of groundedness. And, you know, it, it's about being generous with ourselves. Again, um, living our lives, not just waiting for the future when things get better. So it's not about going out and spending money wildly and um, just throwing caution to the wind, but it is about perhaps making a quality purchase this week um, that you know is going to help you feel more connected. You know, again, this is a way that we are redefining ourselves um, is about what we love, what we desire, what we think is beautiful. This could even be art. This could be um, music, fine art. Again, like I said, dec decor, something along those lines. So enjoy this beautiful luxury of life this week. Don't worry too much that you haven't got it figured out. Or that you feel at a loss or a bit of your confidence has been shaken those things will come back and again they're going to come back because we're following our hearts now and not our minds have a wonderful week if you're interested in booking a reading with me you can see the link below many blessings <music>